Hello friends, thanks for watching our travel videos and our current US series. Hope you are enjoying our series and the episodes that we have posted so far. Welcome to another episode of this series. Today we are going to take you to explore the Universal Studio in Los Angeles. Welcome to Universal Studio in Los Angeles, where movie magic comes to life. Today we'll take you on an extraordinary journey through this iconic studio. Get ready to experience jaw-dropping action stunts, fire stunts, zero gravity, even survive an artificial earthquake while on a trolley bus. We had a couple of days in Los Angeles. One day we visited different places in Los Angeles as you have seen our other video. And the second day we kept it for the Universal Studio exploration. Along the way through the Universal Studio, we met few characters and one of them was famous Marilyn Monroe. On the trolley bus, we also explored the way they create the floods and rains on the big screen. And it was a fascinating experience. It was a fascinating demonstration. Huge amount of water was released under our bus and they showed us how they create these rains and the floods using different sprinklers and they recycle the whole water. So that was pretty amazing experience. So buckle up for this overall very nice and exciting experience living through the Hollywood dreams. We really had a grand time at LA's Universal Studio. It was so big, there were so many stunt actions to choose from. It was really hard to decide which one to go for first. So we decided to go for the big action. There was a big gallery where you can actually book a slot and sit and enjoy the action. Amazing stunt actions. It was a live performance. When we were in the arena, we thought that we were actually at a set of films like Pirates of the Caribbean. There was bombs, there was a live fighting, karate, kung fu, jumping, water spraying, there was fire. It was just amazing. this thing now! Look She's getting away! No! No! Yeah! No. The winner! Thank you! Inside the LA's Universal Studio, the atmosphere was just electrifying. When you are walking through the roads and streets which are heavily decorated, feels like that you are walking through different movie sets. We met few characters of Hollywood golden era movies. For example, one instance we met Marilyn Monroe.
The whole campus of the Universal Studio is so big that it's just not possible to cover every corner of the studio in a single day. But we had only one day. So the best way and most convenient way of traveling around the different sets was to take the trolley bus, the famous trolley bus in Universal Studio. Decorated with blue and yellow Universal Studio logo, that bus was just extraordinary. We could experience some of the movie sets they used to film the Wild West movies. Or the cars they used in Flintstone cartoons from 1950s. Or the custom made cars they used in the movie like Jurassic Park. <laughs> it was really exciting to see all those cars parked side by side. Uh, on the screens was not filmed on the island. Experiencing the zero gravity stunt at the Universal Studio was one of the highlights of the day. Walking in the air or doing acrobatic movements like spacewalk, it was just fascinating. They were showing how they actually film these type of movements inside a studio. And when we watch the movie, like Sandra Bullock's Gravity, we see all those super actions in the space, but they're all done in the movie studio. You look completely natural. <laughs> Let's move it forward. Put your finger on that pink block and move it just gently ever so forward. Get him into the shot. All right, hey Casper, you got a space station here, right? Wave to the space station. Oh. <laughs> Hit the disable button, that'll reset the system, it'll bring you back to one. <laughs> Space. Hit that enable button, we'll take two, we'll take them up a little bit, about halfway, that's good, stop, stop, stop. He's your husband, let's have some fun. Alright Casper, you got the audience below, everybody wave to Casper, wave back Casper, wave. Okay buddy, hit that disable button, that'll bring you back down to earth, which is where he wants to be, I can see him right here in front of you Casper, reach out for me, okay. The live fire stunt was our favorite. You must have watched hundreds of movies, particularly action movies where you have seen that a guy, a villain or a hero catching fire, burning in live fire, probably jumping in the pool or in the river and running around, trying to put off the fire. But how do they do this shooting? Everybody, please remain in your seats for the duration of the stunt. Leroy, are you good? I'm good. Whitney, you ready to burn? Ready. Ready and action. Lighting! You're lit! That was a fascinating demonstration of live fire stunt. Experiencing the artificial rain, flood and storm, daytime and nighttime. How they create these artificial rain and flood and massive storms in these movies was our second favorite thing. Are you now 
friend Jack's up there, he's gonna turn on the effects here so we can show you how we make it rain in the movies. It's very simple. It's a sprinkler system. Now we do shoot the water straight up into the air so that it falls back down more naturally. And the lightning and thunder are simple lightning and the sound effects. That's how easy it is to make it rain in the movies, everybody. Okay, they can, they can, they can, they can turn it off. In this part of the studio, they will stop the trolley bus and they will give you a surprise that there is a massive flood coming over and you are going to drown. We are sitting in the bus, there was music, there was lighting, creating an atmosphere of a very stormy night. And then we saw that from the uphill, huge amount of water is running towards us. It was like a real flood. They have a sprinkler system to create this illusion and they have a massive water recycling system to create this flood. It was an amazing experience. On the trolley bus, we had a chance to experience different movie sets. One of them was a plane crash site. This was fascinating to see that they have a life-size plane crash site and they use this site to film like movies like Gerard Butler's plane or different kind of plane crash movies. Next best thing was the artificial earthquake. Imagine you are on a train and you are coming to an underground station when there is an earthquake and the whole station is collapsing on the train and the platform. A huge amount of water is actually coming and running through this underground station. So we experienced that. It was just amazing. I think we're safe now. Oh no! I hear water! They want to give us light at the end of the tunnel! Oh good! Light at the end of the tunnel! Let's get out of here! Oh, 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 oh. I'm sure you must have seen the movies called Jaws and Jaws 2. On the trolley bus, in one instance, we had a chance to experience that famous scene from the Jaws 2 movie where the shark was on fire. So friends, hope you liked all those stunts and tricks they used to create all these illusions on our movie screen. This was just a small compilation of our recordings that we had from our pre-COVID tour of US. That time, we were not YouTubers, so we didn't have much recording, but we had just enough recordings to create this series. Hope you liked all those episodes on those fascinating cities like San Francisco, Las Vegas, the Big Apple, New York City, and the Los Angeles. We're really glad that finally we could share these experiences with you on our YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing and watching our travel memories. Goodbye until the next series.